So today on the workbench, I've got a Microsoft Surface 2 RT, one of the old uh, fake Surface tablets that Microsoft pumped out that don't run Windows at all, back from 2013. Now yeah, this particular one wasn't brought in with this issue, but it did get this issue upon updating it. So I've powered it off, and while it's powered off, we see the Surface, it tries to boot up from there. And then we get greeted by a black screen and we can see a slight flickering down the bottom left hand side which if you're a bit observant with it you'll notice that it's flashing what looks to be the Wi-Fi signal icon which I'll hopefully point out in a second for that one but basically you get a bit of a boot loop so it just blinked once then it should blink again so hopefully I can point it out in the video here there we go one and again. And you can kind of move the mouse around, it's a bit of a weird lock screen. But this particular one is after installing a certain um, a certain optional update, which I'll go into further. I did figure out you are able to snap it out of this this kind of lock that it's in by connecting up a mini HDMI to full HDMI, connect it up to an external display of some variety and you potentially have to restart the device but after that you should be able to actually get into it and hopefully be able to remove the update which I go into further in just a minute so I'll let this rest of this video play out I'll be back in about two seconds So now hopefully after connecting up your mini display, uh, mini HDMI to HDMI, you can get into the machine. Now I shall go over how to actually remove, what up, or what update to remove, and how to actually get there to do it. So first you'll want to go into is control panel, then programs and features, and then on the left hand side you should have the option to view and remove installed updates. Once you've gotten into there, click on the search up the top right hand corner and type in KB3033055. And you should be able to see it in the list from there, similar to what's going on here. And from there you should be able to click on it, tell it to uninstall, let the machine do its thing for a couple of minutes. Once it's done, reset the machine and hopefully from there you won't encounter the black screen with the blinking Wi-Fi. So hopefully these couple of tips might be able to get your older Windows RT tablet back up and going once more. Personally at the time when these came out I don't reckon they should have really existed being that they're running Windows RT an ARM operating system which has nothing really to do with the main Windows other than it can potentially share applications which, yeah, with the support level support that it got, it's not a nice device, but I can understand if all you're wanting to do is just browse the internet, go on eBay, Facebook. These seem to be really, ch really cheap tablets because potentially no one really wants them. And you could even pick, if you can pick one of these up for 50 to 100 bucks, it might be worthwhile. The screen on it would be better than a cheap 50 to 100 dollar Android tablet, which most of those look quite horrendous, but back to the topic at hand as you can see it's currently reverting from the update this might take you two to five minutes for it to do that but hopefully after that you have a perfectly working Windows RT tablet righto, I'll catch you later bye